हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ओवरटेकिंग जोन्स ओवरटेकिंग इज ए नेसेसरी मैनोवर ऑन ए रोड ए फास्ट मूविंग व्हीकल इज रिक्वायर्ड टू ओवरटेक ए स्लोअर व्हीकल एंड दिस इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इन द केस ऑफ मिक्स ट्रैफिक वेयर स्पीड डिफरेंस बिटवीन व्हीकल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज इज क्वाइट सिग्निफिकेंट एंड ओवरटेकिंग ऑपरेशन रिक्वायर्स दैट ए फास्ट मूविंग व्हीकल ए शुड बी एबल टू ओवरटेक ए स्लो व्हीकल बी and it should be able to march its within its own lane before colliding with oncoming traffic from opposite direction therefore it is always desired to construct a highway in such a way that length of the road ahead is visible and it is sufficient for overtaking operations however this cannot be ensured at every point or section of the highway there may be stretches where safe overtaking distance cannot be provided or visibility is restricted and therefore overtaking is dangerous and it may be because of any reason maybe because of topography because of some obstruction in the form of a building or a bridge site wherever wherever it is not possible to provide overtaking side distance we indicate to the driver through this sign that overtaking is prohibited and the opportunity for overtaking is provided for vehicles moving at design speed at frequent intervals or wherever possible these zones which are meant for overtaking are called overtaking zones the overtaking zones on a highway are designated area with wider roads marked by sign where vehicles can safely overtake slower moving traffic when sufficient overtaking side distance is not available throughout the entire stretch and these are indicated by a sign like this that overtaking lane 300 meter ahead now this 300 meter is basically overtaking side distance so a overtaking zone is is marked like this this is a wider road this is a two lane road where you have restriction of overtaking throughout its length but you provide overtaking zone here and this length of overtaking zone is 3 to 5 times overtaking side distance this is a wider road and here before we start the overtaking zone at 1 ohd that is overtaking side distance you inform the driver that there is overtaking lane ahead now this is overtaking side distance 300 meter and here on this side 1 ohd before end of the overtaking zone you inform the driver by a sign which reads that this is the now end of overtaking zone same is the case with this side also for the traffic coming from this direction you provide a information sign to the driver here at 1 ohd before start of the overtaking zone and one sign here regarding end of overtaking zone 1 ohd of the end of the overtaking zone therefore to determine the length overtaking zone we must know what is the overtaking side distance and these are three stages of overtaking phenomena a vehicle a is traveling at design speed and it meets a slow vehicle b here and it is assumed that this speed of this slow vehicle is at least v minus 16 that is 10 miles per hour less than the design speed of the highway then this overtaking vehicle a will follow the slow vehicle for a short while to perceive the clear road ahead for safe overtaking before beginning the overtaking maneuver and this time here which is taken by this driver to decide or to start overtaking is taken as 2 second that is the reaction time after that it moves the next lane and then completes the overtaking and then again goes back to its original lane before a vehicle coming from opposite direction reaches this point now this is what we call the safety margin x more the safety margin safer will be the overtaking operation so there are three distances now one is d1 that is a distance traveled by this vehicle a during reaction time then d2 that is the time that is the distance traveled by this vehicle or complete overtaking and c is the distance traveled by the opposing vehicle during overtaking time t now this d2 is comprised of s b and s s is the time required to shift from the original lane to the opposing lane and again from opposing lane to the original lane 
and B is the actual distance traveled in this lane. So these can be calculated using these equations that D1 is the, the distance traveled by this vehicle A during reaction time and reaction time is taken to second. D2 is the distance traveled by this vehicle overtaking vehicle during overtaking time at a speed equal to Vb. A is the rate of acceleration and T is the overtaking time. This rate of acceleration is generally high during overtaking and IC 73 suggests the maximum rate of acceleration in kilometer per hour per second depending upon the initial speed. So when 30 it is 4.8, if it is 80 it is 2.56 kilometer per hour per second. This D3 distance is the distance traveled by the opposing vehicle during overtaking time and this overtaking time is calculated using this equation square root of 4 s upon a where s is 0.7 into vb plus 6. All these parameters, all these distances I have discussed in detail in my earlier video on overtaking side distance. Once you know d1, d2 and d3, you can estimate the overtaking side distance that is sum of these three distances. Let me just take one example just to illustrate how do we calculate length of overtaking zone. Example is that determine the minimum length of overtaking zone to be provided on a two lane two way road having the design speed of 80 km per hour. Now here the design speed is 80 km per hour and therefore slow vehicle will be moving at a speed which is 16 km per hour less than the design speed. So design speed B is 80 km per hour. You can convert that into meter per second. The speed of slow vehicle will be 80 minus 16, that is 17.8 meter per second. Assuming reaction time 2 second, a rate of acceleration at a speed of 64 km from the same table, you can take 3.29 km per hour per second or 0.91 meter per second square. With this data, you calculate D1, that is VB, that is the speed of the slow vehicle into reaction time. 17.8 into t that is 35.6 meter d2 requires t t is the time of overtaking time taken during overtaking and this t is calculated using this equation square root of 4 s upon a a you know from the table that is 0.91 meter per second square s is calculated by this equation 0 0.7 into vb plus 6 that is 18.46 and once you know S, you can calculate the time, that is 9 second. Put this value, 9 second here in this equation, you get 197 meter as the distance D2. D3, the, time, the distance traveled by the opposing vehicle during time T. So opposing vehicle is moving at design speed, that is your 22.2 meter per second, and therefore it is 200 meter. Now you have three distances. D1 is 35.6 meter, D2 is 197 meter and D3 is 200 meter. So overtaking side distance is some of these three values that is 432.6 meter or let us say 433 meter or 435 meter. Minimum length of overtaking zone is three times the overtaking side distance. So that will be 1300 meter. But desirable is five times, five times of OSD. So that will be 2,165 meter. So length of overtaking zone should be between 1,300 meter and 2,165 meter or let us say 2,200 meter. So you mark all these distances here on the same figure. Now this is the information of the driver, one OST before start of the overtaking zone. And here you can put a sign here S1 that the overtaking zone starts 433 meter ahead. Same is here. For a vehicle coming from this direction, you inform the driver that there is an overtaking zone ahead. And this is the length of overtaking zone which can vary from 1300 meter to 2200 meter. And one OSD before end of this overtaking zone, you again inform the driver with a sign that now there is the end of the overtaking zone. Same sign for a driver coming from this direction, you inform the driver here that is the end of the overtaking zone. 
so friends that is how overting zones are designed thank you very much for watching this video you can write your suggestions in the comment box